Hey, up, guys? John here. Bank credit has officially contracted. What does that mean? It's going to be a lot harder to get a business loan now due to what's going on. U.S. banks are reporting tighter credit standards and softer loan demand. More banks and credit unions tighten up their lending standards. A home equity line of credit, a home loan, an auto loan, any type of loan, it's going to get harder. But with this, I think there's going to be even more opportunity for those that can get funding and financing. Look at this chart dating all the way back to 1974. This only happened one other time, and that was during the great financial crisis 2008-2009. Now, what I think we're walking into is far worse than the great financial crisis for a variety of reasons. But I'll get into that in just a second. When you look at what's going on here, our U.S. economy, it's built fully on credit. Commercial real estate loans, businesses, I mean, all these zombie companies, the U.S. consumer is living on credit. And when you start to pull back on that credit, what you're going to start to do is pull back on the American living standard. One domino after the next is going to fall in this U.S. economy. And smart and savvy investors and entrepreneurs and Americans are getting ready for this. They're already starting to see the writing on the wall. I mean, they see, you know, they've already closed 3,000 bank branches so far in 2023. Bank of America getting ready to close another 100 branches. TD Bank is getting ready to fire 3,000 employees. I mean, even Citibank, they just said they're firing 10% of their workforce, 24,000 employees. And J.P. Morgan, Chase, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, they've already fired 20,000 employees quietly so far in 2023. If you look at these five banks, they've cut about 20,000 jobs so far this year. Very, very, very big changes coming for the U.S. economy and huge opportunities coming for the smart and savvy American. In this video, I'm going to break it down for you, show you exactly what's going on here because this is a complete game changer, especially for small business owners. Please hit the like button, hit the like button, you will share this content to educate more people about what's happening in America. And if you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session. Take a look at this. So, I mean, look at what small business is going through. According to the Federal Reserve, which surveys senior bank loan officers, quarterly, about 49% of banks said that they had tightened lending standards for smaller firms. Those with less than $50 million in annual sales during July and September's quarter, up from 22% in the same period last year, loan officers cited an increasingly uncertain economic outlook as for one reason for the tightening. I mean, a lot of people, not just banks, are seeing this uncertain economic outlook. Look at what's going on with the price of gold. Look at what's going on with the price of Bitcoin. People are looking for a safe haven, They're looking to take risk off the table, right? They see more downside risk in the short term than they do upside. Banks are no different. Biz to credit data tells a similar story. Back in June 2022, big banks approved 15.4% of small business loan applications. The figure has dipped every month since and was at 13% in October. At smaller banks, about one in five funding requests were approved, far from the 50% approval rate pre-pandemic. One in five. You know, two years ago, you could have had a 680 credit score, open up a you know business line of credit at Navy Federal, got 50K, 100K. It would have been no problem, simple, easy to do. Try doing that today, right? You're not going to be able to do it. You need to put yourself in a position to where if you were a bank, you would want to lend you money. If four out of five people are getting denied, that one person out of that five, I mean, they're probably a stellar borrower. You know, 800 credit, 780 credit score, real, really clean, clean, you know, track record, right? They're, they're looking at everything. They're going to be crossing their T's and dotting their I's on every single loan going forward. Meanwhile, interest rates have jumped. The average interest rate paid in a short-term loan, 9.1% in October, up sharply from 6.7% in the same period a year ago, 4.9% the year before that. So they've, it's literally doubled in the last two years. All of those factors added up to a grim environment if you're a small business, business seeking a loan. Cheyenne Smith, Salt Lake City, Utah, founded Dakota Ridge, which makes cowboy rain boots for kids in 2001 with savings from previous corporate jobs and borrowed money for 401k and retirement plan, about 80000 total. Smith quickly realized she needed money, more money, up from what she originally thought to build her inventory within two years of tax returns. However, she didn't qualify for a small business loan. Online lenders were quick to offer her the service, but the terms are too strict, requiring weekly repayments of interest rates up to 40%. Online lenders approve more loans than traditional banks, but often at much higher interest rates, it was a nightmare to try to access funding. With no options, she borrowed about 30,000 from her mother at the end of 2022. A lot of people don't have that opportunity, she said, and I'm very lucky. You're gonna start seeing a lot of 
people, a lot of companies out there issuing loans coming very, very soon, 20, 30, 40%. It's gonna be more predatory than a lot of these payday loans, a lot of these installment loans. If people are gonna have no choice but to accept them, right? If they're gonna to wanna to stay in business, I mean, this is, we're gonna see a whole bunch of businesses close due to what's going on here, and a whole lot of businesses flourish. You wanna position yourself in the right spot, in the right place going forward in this uncertain world, because so much is about to change here. U.S. consumers are thriving by most measures except this one. Credit card, credit card balances transitioning into delinquencies starting to skyrocket. I believe this number is going to continue to rise over the next six months predominantly. And you know the main push is going to be student loans. Student loans being due. 43.5 million Americans have start paying their bills October 1st. Average payment $503 a month. What's gonna happen? In the holiday seasons, people are gonna to start to default more and more and more and make tougher decisions on who's gonna get paid and who's not going to get paid. So as this begins to happen, this is gonna have further weight on banks, financial institutions, and credit card companies. Now, Janet Yellen said something very interesting alongside Jerome Powell and thebanker.com, saying that a wave of consolidation could save smaller banks. Basically letting you know this is a good thing. When you start to see more of these Silicon Valley banks fail, more of these First Republics, more of these, you know, PacWest getting acquired by Bank of California, you know, Credit Suisse, Suisse all these banks, uh, all these banks falling and failing, they're going to start to see, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel is what they're going to tell you. But what they're not really telling you is that it's actually going to be a very challenging environment to get a loan if there's only five, six, seven, ten large banks compared to if there's a few thousand of them. The reason for that is because they will be able to have that authority. They'll be able to set new lending standards. They will be able to, you know, really control the entire market, the entire landscape of who gets loans. And I believe what we're going to start to walk into is an environment of a lot of M&A, a a lot of mergers and acquisitions, a lot of consolidation. Pressure on regional and community banks across the U.S. remains strong as fintechs continue to take the place in the financial sector and with the largest banks, those with a combined assets of $100 billion or more, remaining enough capital to expand smaller banks' risk losing consumers and revenue. The Federal Reserve defines community banks as institutions with less than $10 billion in assets and regional banks, those with assets between $10 billion and $100 billion. These smaller banks must operate at a significantly larger scale to remain competitive and avoid bankruptcy, according to a former World Bank governor, Yarbrough, who now has a U.S.-based financial service consultant. He says that consolidation is the key to achieving this, predicting that next year will be characterized by unprecedented wave of consolidation in the U.S. banking sector. This is from someone at the World Bank saying this. This isn't, you know, saying this to scare anyone. This is what the World Bank is saying, right? This is what's going to happen. There's going to be a massive, massive change in lending in America. The sharp uptick of mergers should follow the dip in banking mergers and acquisitions activity in 2023. Now, there's two really big caveats that are hitting this banking sector. The first is commercial real estate, a wave of problems coming in commercial real estate. Second is $2 trillion in corporate debt that is hitting next year. And then the third is U.S. consumers are pulling deposits out every single day to try to make ends meet. So banks have less money, and the loans in which they've issued are worth less than, in most cases, the loans. Uh, the assets are worth less than the loans. And so what's going to happen, right? Banks are going to start to take and write off massive, massive losses. They're going to have to start to sell assets. They're going to have to start to you know, do exactly what Silicon Valley Bank did. They'd have to sell at the worst possible time and, you know, you're going to start seeing more bank runs. You're going to start seeing more problems continue to uh, stem throughout this banking sector. And when you see Janet Yellen saying, you know, she told bank CEOs mergers and acquisitions, uh, more mergers would be necessary, you just hit the back button. She said this, and it's important to note this, because she's been warning and warning and warning and warning about this to pepper and drop these seeds in. So people, you know, it's easier to digest it. It's not a big shock. She said this in June. She said this June 7th, June 23rd, May 19th, May 12th, June, you know, you start to look at all these different, she said it probably three, four times, right, talking about this. And then you see this. This is what's really concerning, is when he came out and saying that inflation was 0% and our economy grew by 5%, you don't know what to believe. Nothing, nothing is what they say it is. Everything is different than what they say it is. So you have to use your you know, perception of reality. 
to see what's actually happening here. You look to your left, look to your right, look at what the middle class consumers are going through. You'll see everyone being stretched to the brink, everybody, including banks. And so what are you going to start to see here? They're going to deny, deny, deny as if we're in any type of problem. But you and I both know that we're in a completely different type of normal, nothing like we've seen in the past. And they're only going to be able to keep this you know, house of cards up for as long as they wanted to. I personally think next year is when things are going to really start to hit the fan. And uh, I mean, Wells Fargo knows it. They're saying new, equi new home equity lines of credit are currently unavailable. Due to market conditions, we are currently, we're temporarily suspending new applications for home equity lines of credit. Please consider one of the borrowing options below. You look at where homeowners are desperately looking for home equity lines of credit. They're looking for an access. They're looking for a lifeline, right? It's not just homeowners. I believe it's probably 80 to 90% of U.S. consumers, a couple hundred million Americans sitting there going paycheck to paycheck wondering what's going to happen next. So what's going to happen next is lending. Lending is going to get a lot harder to come by. Loans are going to get a lot harder to come by. And as that happens, the whole house of cards comes falling down. Drop it below. What do you think about this? If you have plans, if you have a goal of really doing well when everything gets tough, put yourself in a really, really strong position. Get out of high interest rate consumer credit card debt. There's a lot of credit card companies right now still offering 0% APR credit card offers. 12 to 24 months, no interest. So if you have a high interest credit card balance, 5, 10, 15, 20K or more on a card you're paying 30% interest on, if you can transfer that to another card, with 0% interest, you have to get out of debt a lot faster, right? It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. There's a lot of options right now, and I think these options are gonna slowly start to fade away. So if you are thinking about making some big moves in 2024, make sure you're putting yourself in a position to do that. A lot of people have these New Year's resolutions, and they start off the year really, really optimistic, really positive about what the New Year is gonna bring, and then by February, they forget all about it. If you really have big goals for 2024, the time to start is now. The time to position yourself is now. So when, Jan when January 1st starts, you're already ready to rock and roll. You probably already accomplished most of what you wanted to get done, and you just cruise right to your goal. Drop below, let's have a conversation about it. If you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, and a negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com, click the link in the description as well as video. Schedule a free strategy session. Catch you in the next one.